flyers listening look at part one now look at the picture listen and look then choose the correct name this is an example this is a photo of my friends who are all these children can you see the girl who is jumping on the trampoline yes that's my best friend her name's Sophia. 1. And who is the boy next to Sophia? He is William. I like his curly hair. Me too. 2. Can you see that girl who is reading? Yes, who is she? That's the smartest girl in the class, Katie. She looks nice. Yes. She is very nice and friendly. She always helps me with my homework whenever I ask for help. 3. Who's that in blur? The boy who's playing with the ball? No, the one on the seesaw. He is wearing a blur t-shirt and jeans. Oh, he is Joe. He isn't so friendly. He only plays with his sister. 4. Who's the girl on the seesaw? That's Caroline, Joe's sister. It's hot outside, why does she wear a red pullover? She's cold. She must wear long clothes to protect herself. Okay, I understand now. 5. The girl with pink helmet is my cousin. What's she called? Her name is Karen. I like her bike. Me too. She loves biking. She goes for a walk every day. That's great. Sport is healthy. Now listen again and write the names. Part 2 Listen and write. There is one example. Excuse me, Ms. Johnson. I have a few questions about the workshop. Of course, go ahead. I'm here to help. First, could you please let me know the specific day of the workshop? I want to make sure I have it marked on my calendar. Absolutely. The workshop will be held every Friday, after school. Now listen and answer the questions. Great. Who will be our teacher for this workshop? It won't be me. It's a new teacher. His name is Mr. Anderson. He'll be leading the workshop. Great. Can you remind me when the first workshop meeting will be? The first workshop meeting is scheduled for 30th September. Make sure to mark it on your calendar so you don't forget. Got it. I'll make a note of it. Now, I was wondering where exactly the workshop will be held. Could you please let me know the room number? The workshop will take place in room 34. It's located on the first floor of the school building. You'll find signs guiding you there on the first day. That's clear. Thank you for the information. Just one more thing. What should I bring on the first day? On the first day of the workshop, it would be great if you could bring a notebook and a pen. These will help take notes. All right, I'll make sure to bring them with me. Lastly, can you give me a little more information about what we'll be doing during the workshop? Absolutely. During the workshop, We'll be exploring a variety of scientific topics and conducting exciting experiments. We'll cover subjects like chemical reactions, physics experiments, biology dissections and even get to work on a fun group project. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to get started. Thank you so much for answering all my questions, Ms. Johnson. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Get ready for an exciting and educational workshop experience. 
Part 3 Listen and write a letter in each box. There is one example. Karen is telling Sophia about a meeting with some of her old school friends. Where does each person live now? Hey, Sophia. I met up with some of my old school friends recently. That's great, Karen. How are they doing? Well, Sarah is doing fantastic. She now lives in Paris, France. Paris sounds amazing. What does she do there? She's living her dream as a fashion designer. She's working on some incredible designs and loves being part of the fashion scene in Paris. You remember Michael, right? He moved to Sydney, Australia. Oh, yes. What's he up to there? He's thriving. He's working as a marine biologist in Sydney, studying the rich marine life and enjoying the coastal beauty of Australia. Emily is another friend I caught up with. She's currently living in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo must be fascinating. What's she doing there? She's teaching English and embracing the vibrant culture of Tokyo. She loves immersing herself in the city's traditions and exploring all the exciting opportunities it offers. David, our finance enthusiast, now lives in New York City. Ah, the Big Apple. How's he doing there? He's doing incredibly well. David works in a prestigious investment firm and enjoys the fast-paced, competitive atmosphere of New York City's financial sector. Sophia, the nature lover, moved to Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town is stunning. What's she involved in there? Sophia is working for a non-profit organization dedicated to wildlife conservation. She's passionate about protecting endangered species and feels privileged to work in such a breathtaking natural environment. Do you remember Alex? He's now based in Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver is beautiful. What's he pursuing there? He's living his filmmaking dreams. Alex is working in the vibrant film production industry in Vancouver, surrounded by picturesque landscapes that serve as perfect backdrops for his projects. That's amazing. Part 4 Listen and tick the box. There is one example. How will Jane's family travel? Jane Guess what? We've decided to go on a holiday by train this time. Really? That sounds exciting, Mum. I've always wanted to experience a train journey. It will be a unique adventure for us. We'll get to enjoy the scenic views and relax during the trip. 1. What time will the train leave? I'm so excited about our holiday trip. What time are we leaving tomorrow? We'll be leaving at 8 o'clock in the morning. The train departs at 9.30, so we'll have plenty of time to get there and buy the tickets. That's great. 2. How will Jane's family travel to the train station? Mum, how will we travel to the train station? We'll go by car. It's about a 30-minute drive from our home. That's convenient. We won't have to worry about carrying our luggage for long distances. Exactly, dear. We'll park the car at the station, and then head towards the platform to catch our train. 3. What food will they not take with them? Jane. Let's pack some food for our train journey. What would you like to have? Can we bring some sandwiches, fruit, and maybe some cookies or snacks? That sounds like a good plan, except for the cookies. 
They have a lot of sugar. I'll make sure we have a variety of food options to enjoy during the trip. Okay, Mum, as you say. 4. What does Jane want to do during the train journey? Mum, what are you and Dad planning to do during the train journey? Well, your dad wants to catch up on some work, so he'll be bringing his laptop and documents to stay productive. That's right. I have a few pending tasks that I can work on during the journey. As for me, I'll bring a book and maybe even take a nap to relax and unwind. It's a great opportunity to have some quiet time. What are you planning to do, Jane? I want to listen to music. I'll bring my headphones to keep me entertained. That's a good idea. Just make sure you take a break. 5. What is Jane going to do first when they get there? Mum, what do you want to do once we arrive at our holiday destination? We're looking forward to exploring the local sites and attractions together as a family. We'll plan activities that we can all enjoy. What do you want to do first? I want to explore the nearby attractions, go for nature walks, and maybe even try some water sports if they're available. That sounds like a fantastic plan. We'll make sure to enjoy every moment of our holiday and create wonderful memories together. Part 5 Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. This is a nice camping place. Can I color the campfire? Yes. Color it yellow and orange. Both colors? Yes. Okay. Done. 1. Can you color the tent? Which one? The one on the left. I see it. What color? Make it red. 2. Look at the trees behind the tent. How many are they? Which ones? The Christmas trees. Oh, okay. They are three. Look on the right. There is another Christmas tree. Color it green. Okay. Do I color the others too? No, only this one. 3. I want to do something brown. Sure. Can you see the bear? Yes. Well, color it brown. Okay. 4. Can you see the man in the picture? Yes. Color his t-shirt. What color? Blue. 5. Look at that caravan. Where? Behind the man and the children. I see it now. Make it purple. Okay. It's a beautiful picture now. Yes, it is. Thank you for watching. You can find the audio scripts on our blog.